Hello everybody, welcome to Kids Gaming, I'm Yosuke, so back to give us some more Empire War playing the amazing mod, Awakening of Rebellion, with the amazing sim mod, Awakening of the Independence. So, in the last episode, we took... What did we do in the last episode? It's been a minute. Um... I honestly don't remember what we did. We are moving back this way with the Moncala fleet to attack this planet, and to push this way to meet up with the Yavin fleet that's rebuilding. We lost the Apple fleet in a raid against this planet called Collective 5? I don't know. Um, still debating whether this is enough to take that planet, and I'm thinking not. This fleet's pretty strong, still needs a nebula on beat. Let us go through and put fleet leads into all the positions. Fleet lead... I'm curious though, can you still build? Yeah, you still got militia troops you can train. I'll save that. We are making $10,000 an hour, damn. Okay. Or not an hour, but a month. That's pretty good. Um, so something I've been doing is I've actually been launching my uh, personal campaign, meaning just a campaign I've been doing on my own as the Black Sun. And it's been kind of giving me ideas into what to do with this campaign because in playing as the Black Sun, I happen to know that these three worlds are incredibly undefended. And if we could take these out, we have a... because they don't have access to this world yet. We'd have to take Zahar, though. Zahar, Zahar, whatever it is. I don't know. That's a pain because that's an actual mission that we have to do that I don't want to get into. We still need to do the Mon Cala mission, which I think actually includes taking this world out, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it actually includes taking this world... Liberation Conquer? There we go. So also needs our help. Yeah, we're working on it. Yeah, pretty much... This world, this world, this world, this world are the ones that need to be taken. And I can start. This one's gonna be tough. Ooh, that one's gonna be really tough. That's a level three. So we need to take out this. And then we'll backline them. We'll take out this, this, this. Move up here. Then we'll focus on Flusha, this one. Then we'll take out the rest of these two worlds, because by then we should have a big enough fleet to maybe do this. And this world, this one is actually going to get. Because this is. Next Q3 combat station. Um. Yeah, actually. 63 credits, 45. Get us Building one of these. I want this world to be very well defended, because this world and this world are our front lines. And what are we doing? What is this exactly? This is an additional dreadnought. This is more troops that we need to send over to this fleet. Or not fleet, but ground force. Are they in transit or something? I had a bunch of troops here, didn't I? Oh yeah, they're just on the ground. So we'll send those over, join up with that fleet. This ground force here. Now, I happen to also know from my playthrough that this entire sector, its fighting force is fairly weak, but its planets garrisons are strong. So that's our main problem here. And we really gotta take this out before they get strong enough to defend against it. Because every time they upgrade this, the more units they actually get with their garrisons. So we have to be really careful. Because Black Sun, Tech Zero, is incredibly weak. Weaker than any other faction, I believe. At least in my personal opinion. They get two capital ships like everybody does. But just their fighting forces, even their capital ships, like, I'm pretty sure this guy could take out this, I think our cheapest capital ship, the MC-75, could take out a Venator. This is our cheapest one, right? I actually don't know that. Yeah, it's our cheapest capital ship, would be this one. And as soon as I can, I'm gonna want an MC-80 Freedom off the line. Uh, I still haven't decided whether I want an MC-80 Freedom or this. I think this. Fighter production, plus a battle carrier, that was that would be amazing for this particular fleet here, the Mon Cala fleet. 
Um, what are you? You are just, I'm assuming, just freighters doing freighter stuff. Ooh, hang on a minute. You're done. Why don't you in production. buy us a couple of those, get some of those offline to join up with the main fleet. You're building that, just about done with that. Bespin's making us whopping almost $2,000. I wonder if there's a way to increase that amount, I don't think so. I think we would need another unit that could maybe do that. I don't think we, I think these are all of our production units. Something that might be worth doing is placing a, gar a higher garrison here, because the heroes are good. We're actually about to have our first quasars coming off the line here in like a couple of minutes. That'll be awesome, because that'll also mean that those will now show up in fleets, in uh, space battle defense fleets. Empire lost a battle? Control chain from independent affection, no, they won a battle. Uh, I wonder if they're giving them much problem. They actually are. They invaded that, which means they're causing problems for this. I'm assuming that's where Vader's fleet is. That's good, because that means he's away from us. Ah, uh, this. So they're working on their mission. If they take this, which means they're probably going to try and plow through Kashyyyk next. Hi, 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 hi. Base layout. Get up here. You're pushing the beach, not anything else. Get up here. That way you can hold the beach of Kashyyyk if you need to. Because that's where I'm assuming they're going to attack next, because they want to get take this so they can start getting hut tech, which is spooky. Because hut tech, while not particularly strong, I would say, like weapon-wise, it can take a beating and a half. I love how this has become like a, uh, our core world that we're gonna actually just hold on to, commoner, as long as we can, because this might be our most well defended world. Maybe not on the ground, and maybe we should invest something into the ground a bit. And then that's where all of our ground forces are. We need to definitely get you a base, that way you don't get raided or something equally stupid. You're building space station, space station. About to get paid, that'll be good. Uh. Let's just let it run through, let's get paid and start getting some more ships off the line. Reporting. 20 seconds, okay. And this Dreadnought has officially rejoined up with the fleet, making this a very well-rounded fleet. I believe our strongest fleet here. Mission log updated. Mission log, what you got for us? Production facilities, Alliance base. Alliance base. You're an Alliance base. You're Alliance headquarters. You're an Alliance base. Upgrade complete. Let's pause this for a second. Oh, okay, perfect, actually. So I'll make you my tier one, my tier two ground production. Yeah, actually, that's actually perfect. Upgrade under Build this. Oh no, our money. All gone. Ah. Yeah, let's just do it that way. We'll have the money back next week, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and let's pause. We have 2,000. Can we afford to put them into anything? I do not think so. Uh, space tech. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute and a half. That means we have... Oh, it does. Interesting. That means we have this off the line, meaning we can now create MC80 freedoms. Uh, you. Y wing squadron Bye. reporting. Don't do that. Actually, changed my mind. Where was that Y wing squadron? Hello. Y wing squadron? Question mark. Why? Why? Why wing squadron? Where? Why? Why are you building Y wing squadrons? And where? And why? And then again, where? And then why? Void station. That's independent. Hang on a minute, I thought that this was... Hut, this isn't Hut, this is independent. Void Station is an independent world. Right? Yeah. Meaning, they shouldn't attack this. They don't like attacking independent worlds. Meaning, this is technically not a frontline world. 
Meaning, I don't think you technically need Upgrade a defense station this powerful. We can sell this and put that money in elsewhere. That'll give us 4,000 credits to do something else we need. Like maybe reinforcing this fleet to actually be able to take out... You definitely need a capital ship production yard. We need capital ships in this fleet. If I can mow over them here... Ah, it'll be a tough battle. It'll be a tough battle. I definitely think we should take these two worlds. There's no real reason not to. They're severely underdefended. And then we can build, I believe, an infection base on here. Can build my underground infection as in Rodia. Alpha, Galaxy Wide, Duda. Oh, Galaxy Wide. Interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that might be our main focus for this fleet. Because this fleet can. That's only got one train out. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh my god. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Um, eight seconds left on this. Then we're going to hit. Structure sold. Oh, what's happening? Where are you building units? Hello. Where are these secret units being built, and why? Why don't? Oh, I am stupid. They're these units. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Structure sold. That gives us five thousand. Not enough to actually do anything. Can I? You're building this, which means we're actually about to have 11,000, because I believe you're also building one. Hey, Evan. Do you have... Yeah, you do. You need a tier 2. Pretty desperately, actually. Because you could be... This is Black Sun Presence. Queen. They could just be bribed all the way to here and destroy this. Get yeah, tier 2. Pause that thought. Let's look through. Make sure I'm not missing out on anything. Making sure there's no Tabin gas refineries I could be building somewhere. Super. Okay, I think. Yeah, I think we're good. Ordoban is the only other one I can think of. That's getting one offline. Okay, Solist, you definitely need better defenses than what you got, but we'll worry about you later. Okay. Let's actually not buy anything. Let's wait. Gravity Station, that's good, because we'll be able to see... Is it that great, though? We'll be able to see fleet movements, but that doesn't really help us. We're not exactly on the front lines here. Stop that production. Canceled. That doesn't help us, actually, like in the least bit. You... The hyperspace area slightly armed. Wait, this does the same thing as this. The hyperspace way reveals information abilities. This one reveals information about the larger idea of authority and surprise attacks. Yeah, don't don't do any of that. <laughs> Just don't. Also, excuse the ducks you're having hearing in the background. I don't know if the mic's actually picking them up, but they're on. They're they're just angsty today. I don't know what their problem is. Okay, we have seven thousand. By that, we'll have ten. We'll have seventeen grand to put into a finally getting a capital ship over at Moncala. Because I want another one. Your has been neutralized. Black Sun SS inside the wheel. No. Okay, we gotta replace that. We gotta replace that. That has been legitimately making us money since the beginning of the campaign. <laughs> Funny enough, we can also build some of these. That'd be interesting. I gotta remember that these exist. Um, what am I doing? On Hiring smuggler. Thank you. And you're Space building currently that. Advanced. New also, you don't have that. Why don't you move out to join up with this fleet? Having two tier twos in this army would be awesome. All right. Now comes the question. This world's definitely not worth taking. Is it though? No, let's let them be the front line of the Empire. We got to... painfully put something here and here, as much as that's going to cost us. Yeesh. 
There goes our 17 grand I was hoping for, but it's got to be done. Yeah, that money took a big beating off of us. That means we are not actually going to have 17 grand, unfortunately. But it has to be done because this world needs to be defended if we're to move on and protect other worlds. Sadly, they cost a lot more. Otherwise, that wouldn't have been as much financially as, like, damaging as that was. Ooh. Where can we build those? I'm assuming... I'm assuming... Yeah, we can build them over here. Quasar, Escort Carrier, Endurance Carrier, two X-Wing Squadrons, one Aiming Squadron. Excellent fighter support. Excellent fighter support. Okay. Our first, like, proper carrier. That'll be... needed, definitely, over on this side of the things. Oh, interesting. We could build them here, even. Having a Dauntless would be also amazing, but it's like 20,000. This is our most expensive capital ship right here, is the Dauntless, which makes sense, because it can... It can, like, go against Star Destroyer-type deals. What is actually your... First of all, I'll put you there. What is actually your... And one ready. And one's off the line. That's good to hear. You are... Variant of MC service main capital ship, you have the ritual and by to hang track capacity. We're gonna blow a over there for far as we can. Because capital ships don't want to take a good deal of punishment. So this is like our main This is our ship of the line type Why deal. This is our like main battle carrier. Our main response to Star Destroyers, at least lore wise. And probably in game wise, honestly. You're building that, you're building that. Two both are almost done, which means we'll actually be making significantly less money as well. Bothwa, you got that envelope yet? Let's make two of you, please. Pirate Thank smuggler. you. Because I could... I'm assuming this one's already neutralized. No, it isn't. You're making 500 credits from there, almost, yeah. If that got taken out, that drops significantly, so we have to be very, very, very careful with that. Um, are we still making money off Tatooine? We are not. Let us fix that. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't actually know what their, how much money they have off that is. And while we're waiting for this, might as well move these two up here to join up with the main fleet. Thank you. Ha 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 ha. We could take this world out. Huh. I didn't actually realize that. If we can take this world out, these two are, are connected. Meaning we can combine these two fleets, or at least send reinforcements, like we could send Iblis to join up with him giving him all of those Dreadnoughts, which are just amazing. They're Ion, but they're still Dreadnoughts. Or we could even send the paid-for Dreadnoughts over his way to help him out. That's interesting. I'll have to take that into consideration, because this is an incredibly well-defended planet. I hear you need my services. Yes, I, yes, I do. Thank you. Hello there. I need you over at... The wheel. Complete. Please and thank you. And... We're gonna get paid. Sadly, not as much as I would like. We'll have 10,000 grand. But, or we'll have 10 grand, but it's not gonna be enough. Fortunately. Our 10 grand. And all, oh, most of the space defense was actually done. At least this one over here. That's good. I'm gonna sell you because you're useless to us. No, you you make all of our turrets better, don't you? Buildable turret damage plus ground building construction time. Yeah, okay. Can I actually fight this with this fleet? There's the question, isn't it? Can this fleet take it to the Empire? Alright, sorry about that. My volume went out because my headphones decided to die, making sure I'm recording. Yep, yep, all good. 
This is our replacement fleet? Yeah, getting off the line finally. I wish I could remove this. You are building another one of these, good. Um, yeah. I really, really don't know what else to do for right now. I'm not gonna attack any worlds until I have another capital ship, I think. But you are pretty strong. You do have a lot of- no you don't, you have, you have diddly for fighters, I shouldn't say that, you need to wait. I've made a lot of poor decisions with that Mon Cala fleet, as of late, I'm not gonna make another one. Alright. I think we're gonna gear up to attack. Rattat- attack, Which has- and I'm not even kidding you, I think my least favorite ground battle it's not like... I don't know why, I just don't like it. It's not like it's hard or anything, I just simply don't like it. I don't know if the map's changed at all since I actually haven't fought over it in a long time. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm going after this very well dug in portion of the Black Sun instead of going for this rather weak side, it's for the simple reason that if I'm going to wage war against the Black Sun or even move this way, the Hoth sector, one of our most important sectors, including Bespin, Ordabana, all of that, it's just kind of protected by tier 1 planets, really weak planets, the only other one's Solus, but like, these planets here can't really stop much. You can have a tier 2, which I do intend to actually put on you really soon. It's just, they can kind of plow through this if they manage to get enough traction, plus the back background destroyers are really good and would be an amazing addition to our fleet. And I don't want to be fighting the Black Sun on multiple different fronts. That doesn't seem fun to me. It seems like a nightmare scenario. But, something I actually am about to do... Move up, please. Navigating through. There's good old Captain Shack. We're going to attack this planet Secure the orbit of this and send vital reinforcements from this fleet. Reinforcements, I'm not going to combine the two fleets of these two dreadnoughts. Which removes a lot of our firepower. Um, just Iblis. We'll send Iblis. Yeah, I'm going to put them here so they can combine up because that's one unit that gives you three units. That's good, especially for his fleet. Construction complete. Moving ahead. Construction complete, I assume, has been neutralized. Oh man, they're getting neutralized left and right. We just lost so much money. Oh, that's not good. I mean, we're about to have more money coming off the line, but still. And this is permanent money, so that's not influential. But that's sad. We were making 500 off that. 500. Um, envoy's being sent to the wheel, though, and we'll have another envoy actually probably immediately just go and hit that I hear one. You need my services. And hello there, speak the devil, and the devil shall appear. Let us give you immediately go to this planet okay, where your you buddy just got mur murdered. Hey, would you look at complete. that? The Black Sun's corrupting their worlds. The Black Sun here actually giving the Empire quite a hard time. I like that. And we're officially back to making 10 grand. And... Oh no, this is done. We officially have two here. Perfect. Okay. We're now making probably more money than I can ever make. We'll, ha we'll have a steady 10 grand. Always. In the banks. Which is good. Alright, now we need to do a battle. Hmm. I'm thinking this planet will be your battle for the episode. We've already been recording for quite a bit, and I probably should think about wrapping it up. Let us get you... Yeah, fleet lead. Yeah, you're not the strongest fleet, but I think... You can for sure... Crack down on this. Liberation's en route. 
All right, they're taken up. We teched up twice, so that's good. There you are, I was waiting for you to actually. There's a bug where sometimes it takes a while for this station to show up, that's why I was waiting. And our envoys are actually on their way to actually get some work done and start making us some money off of the wheel and this other planet. I don't remember what they're called. We are about to have enough to make a capital ship. Construction complete. I'm thinking it's this planet. I, I think solidly this is our best option. Like, legitimately speaking. Our last death in here. Ooh. They're losing planets. They just lost that. That's hilarious. Oh no, don't do that. Do Construction this. complete. Let's scooch over here. We're still building two more ships over this. We're building an additional one of these and another one of these. Effectively just a straight up replacement of the other ships. And our construction of this station is also off the line. Very good. This one's now very well defended against anything that tries to attack from here. Not very well defended, but it can hold its own. Long enough for us to be able to get in with Mon Califleet. Which we're about to have our secondary capital ship begin to production. You are going to take a while. You are almost there. I was hoping to get paid before that happened, but I guess we're going to have to wait. Till the next one. Oh, maybe. 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 If this is going to happen, we're going to pause it and immediately go spend this money somewhere else. We're going to waste this money. Don't worry. Oh, come on. Get paid. Get paid. Get paid. Get paid. Get paid. Ah, it's not going to happen. Oh, it barely happened. Okay. You. Uh, uh, mm, mm, medium armor. Medium armor. 8,000 to 4,000. <laughs> Only needs part time any chance to Unit buy in it. Buy it. We have 7 grand. Let us purchase. Let's save it. Let's save it. Funny enough. And get another capital ship next week. Alright, we're gonna pause and get this fight started. Tactical battle imminent. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Alright, I forget how weird this ship looks. <laughs> the double Nebulon that they've victor- This is a Kitbash. Wait a minute, I can actually tell this is a pretty obvious Kitbash. They just took the bottom one, reversed it, and put it on top. It's an exact... Is it an exact copy? It isn't. Wait a minute! No, is it? I can't tell. It looks like an exact copy, and I think it is. It is slightly different. Never mind. Never mind. I thought that that was a kitbash, but it actually is different. Subtly, but yeah, it is different. That's interesting. Frigate reporting. Anyway, move out. You're Nebulon effectively B, just a, a better Nebulon B. That's all you are. I think you have... Funny enough, you have the exact same stats as my Imperial Nebulon B. Which, by the way, uh, there will be a spotlight coming out on my channel Weapon fairly online. soon. I'm just working on getting the editing for it done. I'm doing a spotlight of a Misa mod that I just released, I think, last week, maybe? Which, that was a blast to make, and I'm still in development of it, and I've been pretty much all week just doing bug fixes. Like, no joke, like, all week, bug fixes. That has been my life for the past, like, week. Weapons fixing charged. all the Frigate bugs that I didn't even realize could be bugs. Moving out. Your orders? I up to here. Any okay, now. perfect. Frequency open. You're gonna hold back. To destination. We're heading out. I want to see what they have first before I commit to this fight. Because if they have, say, Bombers stupidly, like, two victories, I'm not going to attempt it. Let's have a looky loo. What do we have here? A lot of fighters. Oh, no. That's what they're going to have here. Ooh problematic. 
Drop out. Drop out. Drop out. Alright, we're gonna drop these out first. Pause. You, get up here. You do not auto-cast that. I want complete control over that. Let us get additional screeners here and here. Bratucks. Bring out the fighters. Reinforcements on route. All of them. Reinforcements on route. We're gonna bring you out here. Alright. Come out of hyperspace, everybody. We are somehow in range of them already. Now, I'm gonna pause. Copy that. I'm gonna wait till the last possible second, get pretty close to us. Switch to our point defense systems. Perfect. That should be just enough time to start dealing with them. I need them to come to me. I need them to come to me. I want you Cruiser ready. to move up. Yes. Alright. Move up ever so slightly. Ready. And I don't mean a lot. Like, just enough to start laying some more heavy fire into them. And I want you to direct your fire. Ooh, ready you're here. Action. Perfect. Get up closer, please. Contractor is overloading the scanners. How far can your guns it will be reach? <gasps> Perfect. The liberation standing by. We'll liberate them Make sure that's what I want, ship. but do yeah, not move forward. Right. Pause. Frigate standing by. Perfect. We'll overlap these guys. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. We need to group up our fighters. Okay. Z95 standing by. Group one. I'll be right there. Copy that. And I suppose we don't have anything else. So yeah, you guys will Order, be grouped sir. two together. Group two, you're specifically for anything. Regrets. Group three, we don't have a lot of bombers, but oh well, we'll have to deal with what we got. We are starting, they are starting to move, but not the ones I want to move. I want them to move their fighters in. Suppose we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way and move in ourselves. There's a liberation here. My envoy tactical computer suggests that this is the best time. That's your command. Yeah, my calculators thing and the Bob say the exact same thing. Hey, why don't you do go after them and everybody here. else stop that insubordination? Because I didn't tell you to do that. Move up this way. Move up this way. Here it is. It's happening. We need to go through. Do not move up. That isn't down yet, so don't do that. Pause. Pause. You actually made an error. You moved up way too far. Pause, you're actually in the perfect position. You guys also pause. Weapons on. Get up here. This is still doing its job. This is still My doing its job. We should have some flak. And I actually want you to switch fire to this. Please and thank you. We need to be pay very, very close attention to this. Because the second this goes out... Okay, perfect. Pause. Yes, Commander. Switch over to this. Start getting rid of these. Okay. Group 2, engage, engage, engage. Pause. That is kind of the whole purpose of you Standing being by. here, is to engage these ships. Do your duty. The liberation standing by. And I need you to continue to shell that. Don't go forward, please. Overcharge your weapons. Start shelling the actual crap out of this thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This one's starting to take a beating, but that's alright. As long as these shields hold up. How are you? You are almost done with that, and soon you'll no longer be any use to us. With this, you're barely recharging, so we're gonna actually start taking some damage here in a second. Though. That should be alright. We should get it all under control. Eee. We'll 
look at this beauty of a battle. Let's take a couple of screenshots of that. I want to just grab one more screenshot of something that looks kind of cool. I'm not going to be able to hold this for long, because... Perfect. Okay, that's it. Pause. I need to have a look at a little at what's going on. Okay, you guys are doing good. You guys are doing awesome. Brace. Star Cruiser standing by. I copy, sir. Turn and engage that. That's kind of your whole job for being here. Roger that. Engage Guns this. Okay. Copy. You do not have anything Launch ready yet. Launch all fighters, prepare for combat. We are finally taking this. Charge up the beam cannon and write our names on the hull. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's the Target wrong lost. thing. Oh, that's sad. Wrong gun. Do not move forward for the God's sakes, please. Okay, this is starting to take damage. We might actually lose this, which is unfortunate. We are winning. We have won the fighter battle. Funny enough. Quite handedly, actually. My onboard tactical computer suggests that this is the best time to attack. Start engaging this. Okay, do we have group three? Yeah, we do, we do, we do. Hit the shield gems. Please and thank you. Take this guy with you. You got some corpse. Hit the shield generators. Okay, okay. Do your thing. That's the great thing about point defense systems is they recharge way faster than anything else. How are you doing? Shields are almost out on you. How are you doing? Fully move up. Fully engage with the height of your weaponry. Funny enough, these guys are in a locked in combat here. Send you some assistance. Very, very good. Okay, now both of you engage. Get up here. Oh, this ship's so dead. Hey, do you have anything yet? You don't, sadly. If we can kill this thing, we'll have won. Group 3, you don't need to take out the shield generator anymore. Take out whatever you can get your paws on. Stun this thing. Oh, come on, come on. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Beam. That's actually the perfect target for you. Pause. Hello there, can I have this yet? No. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, barely not in time. Okay. Slamming into this. This is about to die. Ooh, this is about to die. Hey, we'll check. Where are you? Yes, sir. I'll charge your weapon. Right? This should be dead in... Turning oh, engage weaponry. Pull the hell out of dodge. Get the hell out of here. Oh. <gasps> ooh. Ooh, take out this shield. Take out this. Take out this. Take out this. Take it out. Heading out. Yes, sir. Oh, this ship's just destroyed. Okay, brilliant. We just won. We just saved the day. Oh my god, we didn't lose a single thing. We might have lost a couple of fighters. It's already regaining its shields. <gasps> okay. Alright. Little spooky, but we did alright. Okay. Yeesh. And I think they actually paid for that dreadnought. They actually paid for two ships. I wonder what ships they paid for and if they lost both. Of course, it's going to take like a million years to load into the Galactic map. They did lose both. We lost one Z95. I'll take that. I'll take that a thousand times over. And we can now reinforce you with General Iblis, meaning you will have three additional Dreadnoughts in combat, which means I think you are officially ready to take on, if you can get another star or another bulk cruiser, Think would be a thing. Now, can I take the ground? Not just no. Hell no. I'm not gonna even attempt to take the ground or even attempt to hold this. This only goal is to get up here Adjusting and rejoin course. with him. That was the only purpose of this combat, and we took out something. We raided their thing, so that's all worth it. 
we'll join up, and then we'll head back here, where we can then try and roll over these worlds here. Perfect. Brilliant. Next episode, we are going to officially move against Ratatak, I think it's called. And Ratatak, yeah, sounds like I'm saying, trying to say Ricky, Rick, I can't even say the word. What is it called? Ricky Tiki Tava? Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to leave that one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you want to see many more of my shenanigans in Empire War, go check out my other Empire War playlists. If you want to check out this, the base mod, Awakening Rebellion, or the base sum mod, Awakening of the Dependence, all links will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!